Yo, this is Art Architect with More Than A Haircut Podcast. And this is episode 28 of Small Talk. Got a few questions or I want to start off asking. Right now, like, are, are more women and men, are you guys into farming as well as gardening right now? That's one of my first questions. Um, My second one is, you know, just, just, got off the phone with my cousin and it kind of sparked me to get into the small talk conversation for the simple fact. I'm just wondering like, what happened to the mom and pop stores? And I know I've asked this before, but it, it, it struck a nerve just thinking about, I was, I was riding a couple of, couple of days ago and I don't know if it was the international markets or if it was the, um, I know it was the international market was, was, was one of them, but also the so-called Hispanic or the so-called uh, Spanish community, i say that. I know that the COVID-19 is affecting everybody per se, but you know, my, my question is like, I've, uh, I never really saw I never really saw any of, of the so-called Hispanic or so-called Spanish community really being affected in a sense of, and I may, I may be wrong, you know what I mean? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I really haven't seen the, the, the workload stop. I still see them out working. I still see a sense of cold, you know, a sense of culture and pride. And I also see the markets, you know, working, but when it comes to a community relative to me, and I'm not, again, I'm not bashing, I'm not knocking or any of that, but um, where where are the mom and pop stores where we can get produce to and actually purchase produce from those particular markets? And I, you know, again, I might be wrong. I might be hating per se, but it's just, it's just a, a critical thought on my mind where I'm just like, it's, it's necessary and needed in a time of crisis. But the money is and the focus is not even spent in those areas. I may, again, I might be wrong, but it's just something that I'm acknowledging and seeing that I don't, I don't, I don't really hear it talked about enough where I'm like, when we did have these things set up, people didn't really give a damn about it. So now that we need these things, they no longer exist. So me, me stating this is like, okay, as a collective, once this does take place and we do have access to farmland, we always had access to farmland. Can we start more markets in a community where they, they serve, they are servicing the people? Can we get more education on, you know, the growing of the foods and growing our own foods? Again, this may be going on. I'm not talking to you guys. But what I am speaking on is if there is a crisis and there is no food and we can't, we can't get access to food in Kroger's or uh, Publix or any of these, any of these other markets, how, else, how, how the hell are we going to feed ourselves? It's just my thoughts and just my questions. This is Art the Architect with More Than a Haircut Podcast. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Being patient with me as we get, you know, things going back in the shop. At least me, shop has opened up, but I'm taking my time to get back there. I appreciate you. Peace.